Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is Psychoduck, and today I want to talk about an asymmetrical territories map in Halo 2 Anniversary. This map is called Fort Hank, and it is a remake of the map Bunker Hill from Halo Reach, which was created by Oakley Hydef and myself. If you're familiar with Bunker Hill, you'll remember that it forgoes many conventions of traditional Halo map design in favor of creating a unique experience which plays to the strengths of the Territories game mode. Rather than creating the circular flow common on asymmetrical maps or the tug-of-war style play common on symmetrical objective maps, this design creates a fully asymmetrical attack and defend experience. The closest analog among developer-created Halo maps is High Ground, but even that comparison is inadequate in describing the uniqueness of this design. Action revolves around a single, expansive bunker which is built into the map's rocky terrain. The bunker has far too many entrances for the defending team to cover at any given time, forcing them to be coordinated and agile in order to send players to plug holes in their defenses. Defenders must split their attention between the roof and the bunker interior, each of which has its own advantages and disadvantages. The team must control both simultaneously in order to protect their territory. The roof is rather exposed and offers several longer lines of sight, as well as an immensely powerful turret. The interior is home to more intimate engagements and provides opportunities for flanking. A sniper rifle can be found within the main atrium, though it is best used on the roof. There are also a number of sneaky routes which flank around the bunker. The attacking team has access to an equal variety of offensive routes and must divide their forces to make use of them all in order to gain control of the territories. The main route goes straight up the middle and into the front door of the bunker. This leads through an exposed courtyard within the turret's kill box. This route gives attackers access to a rocket launcher which is extremely effective at countering the turret and flushing defenders out of the bunker. Its ammo is very limited, however. Additional rocket ammo is placed on the roof, giving a huge reward to whichever team can bring the launcher there. The other two primary offensive routes flank along the cliff edge to either side of the central path. The attackers also have access to a ghost which can barrel through the bunker interior and a mongoose which can be used in flanking maneuver. Territory the territories themselves are laid out such that each one must be defended and attacked differently. The alpha territory sits in the courtyard in plain view from the roof and the turret. Bravo is the nearest to the attacker spawn and the safest. Charlie is placed within the bunker itself. Delta sits along a cliff edge just outside of the bunker, and Echo is placed on the roof. These territories are segmented from one another and each requires unique strategies to be developed in order to be controlled or captured. Attackers must keep in mind that the more territories they capture, the fewer the defenders have to protect, meaning that resistance at the remaining objectives will become fiercer. To combat this, effective offensive teams will focus their efforts on the most difficult territories to capture early on and will leave the easier ones for last. Fort Hank is a map which presents teams with a lot of options and forces them to be creative in how they combine them to formulate strategies. Communication is key and teams must be flexible and responsive in order to seize control when their opponents leave an opening. This has been Psychoduck with the Forge Hub video team. Thanks for watching.